Hello, Alpha City. I hope that someone out there is receiving this. This is Craig Allen. I am currently at a safe location uh, where we moved to after the attack on the Alpha City News building. Um, but what we know right now at approximately hold yeah at approximately 1230 uh, Sebastian if and the healer entered structure the living building uh, who had been ailing since an attack by by the wrecking crew two weeks ago uh, their intent was to find the way uh, to his uh, what's it referred to it's called the it's called his boiler room, basically. It's what they're referring to as his power source. They apparently reached it at about 1 o'clock, which is when any signs of motion uh, from structure ceased. And about 15 minutes later, they exited the building, carrying what they believe to be... Um, I, think it's, uh, I think it's pronounced Quaropticon was the word that the healer used. It was a very strange box-like device that seemed to extend uh, into odd dimensions. Um, as soon as they crossed the threshold of structure's entrance, basically all hell broke loose. Uh, two different forces immediately began an attack on the city. One group seems to be under the control of Rama Ultra, uh, Rama Ultra uh, is the uh, the infinite pharaoh um, from far in the past, who for the past few weeks has been fighting with the Empyrean and Captain Stupendous because he has recently managed to make strides in controlling a good part of the galaxy back in the history of the universe, back in prehistory. Um, uh, they would be fighting him generally about, uh, I don't know, uh, one to two thousand years after the Earth gained enough atmosphere for people to live on it. Um, it appeared to be a horde of what are referred to as his jackal troops. They've been seen in Alpha City once before. I believe it was in 1997, but we don't have the data here. Uh, their attack was very well coordinated. Um, they... Uh, immediately took out both the city center, I believe completely destroying City Hall uh, and doing a serious bit of damage to uh, to the League of Nations uh, building. Although it was uh, defended, the League of Nations building was defended by their power armor troopers and seemed to be keeping complete destruction at bay for a time. They obviously were also attacking both... Uh, the infrastructure and the information gathering and dissemination uh, abilities of the city uh, because they attacked not just uh, Alpha City News but uh, Radio Alpha and I believe the Alpha Citizen was under attack, uh, the newspaper as well, uh, when we were forced to abandon the Alpha City News building. <clears throat> Lindy Johnston, our intrepid reporter, was uh, on the scene uh, at Structure's uh, location when they left and had been reporting into us saying that not only, uh, not only were the Jackal troops um, uh, making the attack, but also that Rama Ultra himself had appeared in Alpha City and had covered the entire city with a dome, which seems to have cut off all communication with the outside. Uh, both landlines and cell cell phones have uh, not been able to work. We have not been picking up any radio signals from outside the city at all. Essentially, we are cut off and we are on our own. Um, shortly after the uh, the attack by Rama Ultra's forces began, uh, what appeared to be uh, living nightmares began running out of uh, a portal that had opened. In, um, in Kirby Park, uh, we got enough information uh, before we locked down in our bunker here. Um, they appear to be actual living nightmares um, under the control of the Master of Id, uh, who had uh, been uh, in combat with Presto the Witch somewhere in, in uh, what's referred to as the Supernal Sphere, where... Uh, humanity's uh, psychic abilities and humanity's uh, 
dreams take place. Uh, he was attempting to take it over to gain control of the world. Um, so on two fronts, there were, was an attack there. Luckily for uh, Alpha citizens, um, they, uh, the Nightmares and the Jackal troops uh, concentrated on each other. They both... Uh, in addition, uh, well, in addition to trying to take out, uh, to c- take control of the city completely, Rama Ultra and his jackal troops seemed to want to get a hold of the device that had come out of structure the living building, um, and the nightmare creatures followed suit. Uh, Sebastian If was given control of the device, uh, the Quaropticon again, I think it's called, I'm sorry, it's it's hard to read the the word that they wrote down. It keeps changing on me. Um, and he has gone into hiding. Uh, basically, this is the situation. We are on our own. If you are a non-powered citizen, get somewhere safe. There are uh, city bunkers. You should all be assigned a place in them. Um... Get to them as quickly as you can. If you can't get to the one that you're assigned to, go to the nearest one. They are capable of being locked down and have supplies to allow uh, normal citizens to last for at least a few weeks at 150% capacity. If you are a superhuman and you are engaged in the battle and somehow you're hearing this, if there is any way that you can help Sebastian If keep uh, the... Uh, keep the jackal troops and the nightmares away from the core opticon. Um, it cannot fall into their hands. The last message that we received from Lindy Johnston was that uh, the older version of Johnny Munson, a boy photographer who had gone to uh, help the neo deities uh, retrieve the revelation engine from the anti gods. Uh, when it was captured on their planet of despair. Uh, apparently, the Quaropticon is a part of the Revelation engine. In an attempt to get the engine away from the anti-gods, Johnny had told it uh, to destroy itself, but it was unable to do so. What actually happened was that it was split into four different pieces and sent through time and space and various dimensions. One piece appears to have landed in the distant past, um, where it was used by Rama Ultra to begin uh, to begin his uh, his conquering of the past and eventual uh, extension of his empire into the far future, taking over our time as well. Um, a second piece landed in the supernal sphere, where it was located and used by the Master of Id. Uh, apparently something that uh, Presto tried to do uh, to stop him with it has caused uh, these nightmare creatures to come into being. Um, the third piece is the Quaropticon. It landed sometime in the past and animated structure the living building. And the fourth piece is what is responsible for the expanding uh, area of destruction, of uh, stars vanishing. Uh, that was centered on the planet of despair, the home of the anti-gods. Uh, it's apparently trying to still uh, still fulfill Johnny's last request and, and destroy itself, but the Quaropticon, which provides it with the power, had left, so it is drawing power from everything around it in an ever-widening circle and destroying everything, converting it into power for itself. If Rama Ultra or... The Master of Id manages to get a hold of two pieces of the Revelation Engine. Apparently, they will become God. Everything that we know and think will be under their control. It cannot be allowed to happen. And if at all possible, the pieces of the Revelation Engine that they have need to be wrested from them. Um, all right, hold on. Yes, yeah, I'm being handed, being handed a piece of paper, oh, we've just received, we've just received a message from Lindy, excuse me, Lindy Johnston, we've received a message 
from Lindy Johnston. And a third player has apparently appeared on the field. Abraxas, the leader of the anti-gods, appeared outside the dome that was covering Alpha City and destroyed it. Um, uh, he has apparently... He's apparently killed the Master of Id and taken his piece of the Revelation engine. On the plus side, that means that the nightmare creatures cease to exist and that uh, Rama Ultra and his, uh, his jackal troops are now focused on the Anti-God instead of on Alpha City. Um, but Rama Ultra has nowhere near the power to be able to withstand an assault by Abraxas, who's also known as the Form Destroyer. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary that the piece of the Revelation engine that Rama Ultra has be wrested from him before Abraxas can take hold of it. I'm not sure. I hope, if you can hear this, that things... Things are going well. I hope that you are surviving, and I hope that is, there is some way whoever is listening might be able to prevent this from happening. But this might be the end. We've had no sign of the Empyrean or, or of Captain Stupendous. Uh, we've had reports of various heroes having died, saving civilians from nightmares or from from jackal troops. Um, I don't know what else to say. We can't transmit much longer. Our power is limited. We have to husband it to try and find out what happens next and maybe get in touch with someone on the outside who can help us. But we will be back if there is anything that you need to know. This is Craig Allen for Alpha City News. Good luck, and God help us all. Lindy, if you're out there, I love you.